we have got two short game hacks that are going to really help you improve strike with chipping yeah and you get a bad back when practicing your putting arguably right the most important part of the game i think everyone would probably say yes to that yeah even me right even me so let's talk about firstly short game where do people go wrong we get a lofty club in our hand and we have that real urge to help it up in the air so if we use this tennis ball mat to sort of show quickly the pitfalls of what we don't want to go down wide stance stood here to help it in the air we we'll probably see it top. Yeah. We we'll probably see it knife across the green. Now, what I found this, and I found this with a lot of people that have come to me for lessons in person, this is why it's really important we're going to support what coaching points we hit here with a fitness element. Mm -hmm. It's called Fitness Tuesday. I like to get people to be in narrower stance, be a little bit more open and wait on their left. But what I think they find really hard is is trusting their weight on the left. Yeah, but keeping not it there falling further that way yeah for sure so as soon as i get them to be here it's weight left and it's sort of a bit more of that stabby look yeah so what can we do to give us that look of when we're stood over that golf ball we've really got that confidence that we're going to brush that ground away but keep our weight on the left so one real quick drill we can use if we want to swap places alex just using any club, probably a short one for this, it's just a real simple balance drill to try and maintain that left leg stability so we've got that better setup position for these shorter shots. So all we're going to do is come tall on the left leg and again we've spoken about this in previous videos but using the big toe as a connection to the ground. So if anyone lifts their big toe out of the shoe instantly you feel less on balance. So we're going to use that big toe to press down into the ground to create that stability line through the body and then all I'm going to do is as best I can lift the opposite leg in the air mm -hmm. so for some people you might need to start really light on pressure and just touching the floor as gently as you can and then work your way up but if you think that's too easy then you can come straight to the top here and just let that leg hang and then all I'm going to do is just start to rock the club here right and left and I'll feel my hips starting to move a little bit I can feel my torso moving but I can really feel my foot wobbling on the floor and that big toe really trying to grab on and yeah, create yeah. that stability so if I start to do that here and I lift my big toe off you can see it's gone in my shoe and I just can't even move yeah. so the real key to this drill is to press that big toe into the floor so all we're looking for from here if you had a bit of light pressure as you'd be making this same motion like this big toe down and then if that's too easy we're going to take that foot away and then we're just going to rock right and left as best you can keeping that stability and just creating that position like we said here in that setup of being able to load on that left side a little bit better i'm just thinking that's not only going to help us on this chipping but actually yeah. in our long game as well now i want to just jump in here now because off the cuff there i just thought of a job we could actually do <laughs> <laughs> so if you think about this you just said to me about trying to feel like people get a little bit more sort of like this yeah so why don't people not go on one leg but just sort of put the toe down like that first stage that you said and just hit some short chips away just in front of them to begin with yeah even just five ten yards and maybe make create a bit of a ladder try and go a little bit further each time and trusting that they can get the stability trusting that's that they can stay on that left hand side okay simple something that i want people to do before they go out and play yeah maybe it's just a tiny little warm-up just getting that sensation through the body with a lot of the other drills that we work through and just connecting to that feel and technique element okay stage number one we're now on some putting frustrating part of the game we really <laughs> hit a good putt, but actually didn't go in okay so let's wander up to the putting green here don't look at my chip in they weren't mine i promise um so when we're practicing our putting that we can stand in one place for a long period of time and it can feel really awkward. Yeah, it's not very comfortable, is it? No. Being in that bent over position, you start to feel your lower back getting strained. No. Maybe for some people, a little bit tighter through the hamstrings as well. So, I'm out here. I'm working on my pace control. I'm sort of in the same spot. Even five minutes, right? Yeah. That's probably enough. Yeah. What is a little simple hack that I can do to take all this pressure off my lower back Help me actually spend a bit more time putting. I know it can be quite boring, but I should spend some time putting mm -hmm. because all more putts, drive a show, put for dough. Yeah. This is really important. Yeah, for sure. So I think one real simple thing that we can do is in setup, and this will sound ridiculous. 
Definitely the thumbnail that. This sounds ridiculous. There we go. It's more of a warm up and a sensation okay. drill than a technique thing. It's just simply as we're sort of bent over the putter here is to squeeze the glutes. Okay. And Why I know that, that sounds what's ridiculous. That doing, what's that doing? So what we're doing is we're just taking a little bit of pressure off that lower back. So in that position, because we're bent over, we've got gravity pulling us down here. The body's having to engage muscles to stop you doing this yeah. and falling over. So one of those big muscles that are underutilized by the population of the world is glute max, the big yeah. booty on the back here. So while you're set up here like this, just tensing it in, imagine you're holding a pound coin in between your cheeks and you don't want to drop it. Yeah. Just for a couple of minutes at a time and just try and hold that for as long as you can. It takes a little bit of strain off the back here. I also think, I mean, uh, I've done a simple drill like this before about just putting my bum against the wall and actually yeah. hitting some putts because how many golfers get sort of chasing the putter like this. This is it. It's going to be very, very hard to control the putter head speed, but also control where this putter head is, is meeting the golf ball in terms yeah. of centerness of strike. So I actually think not only that going to help you back, but I think that could also tie into that wall drill. Yeah. Setup's key, isn't it? Like we've said in, in many of our other videos and loads of the other drills that we've done, that with the exercises, if the, the setup's not correct, a lot of the technique tends to sort of flail off from there, or you have to compensate based on how you originally stood, which is how we're built as people as well. That's why we get these kind of nuances of posture because of the way we typically stand. So with putting, I think it's really crucial to get that consistency of setup to be able to sort of make this hinge crease at the hips and not be in those positions where we see people sort of awkward the you know the weight's not balanced yeah. through the feet and then we're starting to strain areas of the body that aren't really designed for that over long periods of time okay so that's your fitness elements of both parts let's just briefly talk you through how i like people to stand to a putter so if you come down line perspective with me here guys so i think about it really nice and simple take your grip nut sort of yep however you like to feel it yeah and i say that because so many people like to go left below right right below left i'm just a traditional girl Standard grip, keep it simple. Really like right. <laughs> okay, so I like to get to hold it up into the air. Sorry, grab the putter, hold it up into the air, get the sole of the club point into the sky. And I want you just to relax your arm so your butt of the club points into your belly button. Now you'll notice a little bit of a crease in my arms. Yeah. And this is where it's key about what you said here. Keeping the leg straight to begin with, tilt forwards until you're over the golf ball. Now slightly bend your knees. So this is that position where you're like, don't want to be here, don't want to be there. I look like if I was to take my hands off the putter, they would actually be yep. the position that I want them to be. So I can shuffle in, tense those cheeks, hit the ball, <laughs> <laughs> hit two more away. But really have a good chance of actually improving whatever asset of putting I'm trying to improve whether that's holding out, whether that's my pace control, those two points are really, really key. So there you go. Some short game elements this week, something a little bit different. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, tune in next week because we're back in the gym. But also, we mentioned in the last two weeks that we have some good news, don't we? Yeah, we do. Some big news. We've got some courses landing on our website very, very soon. Teaser, we can't say the website yet. But <laughs> we're gonna have some real good fitness courses that uh, give me a little bit more detail to what we do here on the channel, but we think are really going to help everybody improve. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for watching.